Okay, good morning everyone. Um, I would say the first thing that you need to have is your NIE. NIE is your number that identifies you in Spain. It's a number that you get uh, once and it's for life because it doesn't expire. So everybody needs an NIE to buy a property. You also need it for many essential things in Spain. So how do you get your NIE? You, if you're in Spain, uh, we have to get a, an appointment at the police station and uh, we can assist you through all this. There's some forms to fill in and some taxes to pay. And usually we used to get it within 24, 48 hours. Now it's probably going to be a little bit different as uh, for British, it's post Brexit is a little bit longer, but basically that's the process. If you're not in Spain, uh, then what we uh, have to do is basically arrange for a power of attorney um, if you're in the UK uh, so that we can apply for this on your behalf. Uh, this power of attorney obviously has to be in English and Spanish and all the copies of your passport have to be come back certified as well and the power of attorney has to be apostilled to make it legal in Spain. That's if you want us to apply for the NIE here in Spain. Another option you have is also if you can contact the Spanish consular embassy and then you can apply for the NIE directly through them. We understand at the moment it's very, very difficult to get appointments with the embassy in the UK. So we suggest that you either do the power of attorney in the UK and send it to us and we apply this for you. Okay, so I've mentioned the NIE, which is for me is the priority when you're going to buy a property in Spain. Uh, but then, and the power of attorney, which allows uh, for us to apply for this on your behalf. But this will also allow us to uh, help you with the opening of bank accounts um, here, which you will need. And also, uh, we can put you in contact uh, with the network that we, or I've been working alongside for the last 20 years in this business. We can direct you to lawyers uh, of your nationality or people that are um, speak your language, and uh, which will be part of the process when you when you buy this property, because you need to have a lawyer in place um, to be able to do the due diligence on the property you decide to buy.